Welcome back to Andy's van build. So I'm getting ready to put on a roof rack for uh, the solar panels. So these brackets click on to the roof and then we're gonna have some grip shut going across and that'll be uh, our main structure and then we're gonna put a substructure underneath it and that'll be for the solar panels to go on. And then uh, we'll just have to put some wires in and hook them up. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. What's up everyone? Just wanted to jump in and go over a few things since my dad's actually the one leading this video. The first thing is I already do have some van videos on the channel so check those out if you're interested. And I will have more build videos coming in the future so please like and subscribe. It helps out so much more than you realize. And the second thing is I want to give a little bit of context around what my dad's talking about in this video. He did this project for me while I was at work one day so I really appreciate his help but he didn't film a couple things and go over some things that I think are important for the video. Basically, I just wanna show a closer up look at the brackets. I bought these on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description. They attach to the studs on the ProMaster roof without any drilling or screws. The other piece is the grip strut my dad refers to and people will also call this unistrut or super struts. Basically, it's just metal framing channels that are typically used for industrial applications in factories and whatnot. But it's the perfect size to work with these brackets and you can build the full rack without any welding. All right, back to the video. Okay, right now I'm here. I'm working on these uh, roof brackets that are going to attach to the roof for the solar panels. Uh, we got this grip strut and then uh, these are the brackets. And I'm drilling the holes in here for now. And then uh, we got these little handy deals that they slide in here and go like this. And then this will be for the um, the structure for the cross members that are going to hold the, uh, the solar panels in. So these are going to go across the roof. And then there's going to be two more that are going to go in. So that's where I'm at right now. I should note that with the use of the two back brackets, we were able to get all the supports we needed out of two 10 foot sections of Unistrut. My dad didn't film cutting these, but he just used an angle grinder and spray painted the ends he cut. For a little protection, my dad added a small piece of flex tape where the brackets and the roof meet. The brackets attach to the van with a single nut and the unistrut attaches with a single bolt. When installing the unistrut it is important to think ahead and slide in the cone nuts before attaching the brackets. Once the joining unistrut sections are attached, we added the two sections that will run the length of the van. These use a standard 3 8 bolt threaded into the unistrut cone nuts. Simple, simple. This is a shorter video that didn't take much time, but it was a big project checked off the list. I will get into the solar panel setup in a future video, but I don't have a shot of the completed rack before installing the solar. So here's what it looks like today. At the time of the build, the brackets cost me $90. The Unistrut was $65 and the hardware was about $25. So this project cost me about $160. Not bad considering the prices for a quality pre-made rack for this van. This brings my grand total of the van build to $860 so far. I should also go over the fact that it's been a long time since I've uploaded a van video, like probably almost a year. And there is a few reasons for that, and I'm gonna go over those in a future video. But the big thing is, I lost the hard drive that had the footage for the next few videos on it. And you'll say, Andy, why didn't you back them up? I did. I lost that hard drive as well. So I had both hard drives that had all the footage for the next few videos on it. 
both of them lost and as I was going through some things uh, the other day I came across a hard drive so everything's back on track I'll have more of these videos coming soon so again please like and subscribe we really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing and interacting with our videos if in the future you see some videos we put out and you don't like it you can always unsubscribe but it really helps us out a lot as we're trying to grow the channel and it really helps keep us motivated on getting these videos out so Please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.